I think now is a really great time for groups to think about selling because um, the, the multiples are higher and there's just never been more demand for your property. Price holders never had that many opportunities, choices, but the landscape has never been as complex, fluid, and confusing to navigate without expertise and knowledge. I think there's massive opportunity to extract more value from this amazing art that we're working with. Some of the things that we have to think about when we're expanding into new markets beyond just language are things like, what do the artists in this market care about? You know, what drives them? What are their unique needs and how do we address those? What blockchain is bringing to music right now is purity, transparency, the opportunity to hit reset. Unless we start to see a major shift in what the labels are asking for, we're gonna, they're gonna see a decline in the quality of artists that are willing to go down that type of relationship. As artists are developing, like there are so many platforms that are emerging all the time and all you need to do is break any barrier to make sure that you are providing access in all the places that fans want to get to your music. If you can achieve sort of virality in, a, in on TikTok or, or another form of social media, that has now become really key. The labels, I respect them, but you know, if you don't ask for certain things, you're just not going to get it. And so you have to know what to ask and you can't ask for stupid things. The most common mistake that artists make who are new to the production process is ignoring the songs that feel old to them. Realize that you're not only an artist, but you're a brand and you are a company. Each artist is a company in himself. That you have to be authentic to the platform and the audience is endemic to that platform. You can't be a tourist on Twitch or Discord. You have to be someone that's building their base there organically. If you can find that special piece of merchandise, that's what the real fans want. They're not content with just digital music or a stream. They want to show that they love you as an artist. And giving them the opportunity to do that in the most direct way possible. I think that's something that every emerging artist should be focusing on. Don't rely on a manager or a label or an agent in the early days. You've got to know your story because if you don't know your story, someone else is going to tell it for you. It's all storytelling and the more creative you can be with that storytelling and aligning with strong partners and strong stories and, and that authenticity between an artist and a brand really helps get the message out there. Everyone's dying to get back to watch live music, but I think the, the next phase of growth is going to be in bringing together live and recorded experience as well so that you can feel like you're there when you can't get there. All those partnerships we have with A-list artists, with those big brands, were also possible uh, due to the COVID. I just think it's an it's like the renaissance of the music business right now. 